second of my short videos giving some tips and tricks for the Crave, which will also work on the Mother 32. In this video, I'm gonna be looking at the wave shapes, the wave shapes of the oscillator and the wave shapes of the LFO. We have a square and we have a saw on the oscillator and we have a square and we have a triangle on the LFO. But we can blend between these and change them slightly, which just gives an extra palette of sounds. You'll notice that we've got the oscillator pulse and the saw as outputs and both the Crave and the Mother 32 are constantly producing a pulse and a saw. So if we take the pulse out, for example, and we put it into the external audio in, what we can do then is blend between the saw tooth when the shape's on saw and the pulse because the pulse coming into the external audio, so. Saw tooth. And a square. And a hybrid sawtooth square. And obviously we can modulate that with the LFO. So we take the LFO triangle and we put it into the mix. Where's the mix? There we go, mix CV. It's a sort of pulse with modulation style sound, isn't it? But that's going from minimum to maximum. If we wanted a more gentle change or not going quite from saw all the way to square, we'd take the LFO triangle out, we put it into mix two, and then take the output of the VC mix and put that into the mix CV. So now this knob here will determine exactly how much modulation you get in between them. So anything from really gentle to more extreme. And to give more flexibility, we can use the pulse as the main oscillator and the saw as the external. And I'll just show you that now. So the saw comes in as the external. So now we're blending between the pulse and the saw again, but the other way around, the pulse is the main and the external is the saw. But this gives more flexibility because you can now modulate the pulse width as well. So you can modulate the pulse width and the mix between the pulse and the saw. Which gives loads more wave shapes. And now we can modulate the pulse width with the LFO. and then change the blend to whatever you like. So let's modulate the blend with the LFO triangle. So take the LFO triangle out, bring it to the mix CV in. But that's a bit uncontrolled, so we can use the VC mix circuit to fine tune it. So take the LFO triangle, bring it into mix two in, and then VC mix out, goes into the mix CV. So now this knob here will determine the amount of blend we're getting. So that's like pulse width modulation on steroids, isn't it? And of course you can then take the LFO into audible rate. And then even modulate the LFO with the keyboard CV. LFO rate in, keyboard CV out. So you can get loads of interesting sounds. I love the look of that wave shape there. Mexican wave pulse, maybe. And we've still got access to the filter. That's modulating the filter with the LFO. All sorts of madness. 
or with the envelope. So you get a nice thick tone there with the modulation almost acting as a sub. And we can do something similar with the LFO. The LFO outputs a square and a triangle. So if we modulate the triangle with the square, yeah. it's a sort of inverse of the phase of the it triangle, a huge negative. Naturally, it moves up the ramp. Square flips over to the minimum, sin down back to it. It's actually a ramp. Let's just show you that. If we take the LFO square and we modulate the LFO rate, and we have the LFO on a triangle. And then we'll modulate the frequency of a tone with the LFO. So there's, there you've got a ramp. If we take this out. It does slow it down, but you do get a ramp or a sawtooth. And the same goes if you use the square. And as we did with the oscillator to blend between the two wave shapes, do something similar using the VC mix with this. Set the LFO rate and put it into mix two. And take the VC mix out and put that into the LFO rate. And now we're using the pulse to modulate the square wave. And what we can then do is morph between a very thin pulse and a square. So it's not modulating at all now because we're fully counterclockwise. And as we turn it clockwise, we'll be changing that square into a pulse. To demonstrate that on the oscilloscope, I'll put it into audio rate. So we're going to listen to it. So we're going to listen to the LFO out. So the LFO triangle. And we'll listen to it on the external audio. We'll take the LFO square. We'll put it into mix two so we can blend between them. And we'll to put the VC mix into the LFO rate. And we'll listen just to the external. So that's the triangle not being modulated. And then as we turn this up, it blends itself into a, a ramp or a sawtooth. If we want to do the same with the pulse, we need to be able to listen to the pulse and send it back into itself. So we'll use the multiple. So we take LFO square, put it into the multiple. Take mult one out and put that into mix two. And then put the output mult two into the external audio. So we should now be getting a square. Here we go. And then as we turn this, it'll turn into a pulse. So a couple of sort of interesting, more advanced techniques to use with the, with the Crave and with the Mother 32. Hope that was of some use to somebody somewhere. See you next time. Thank you.